Hi, hello YouTube, my name is Kuri and today I want to show you how to play past expeditions but before I start I ask for your patience because I'm not a native English speaker and this video is not edited so it's a little longer than he needs to be. So first of all, uh, that aside, this video is also based on this post on the Steam community called How to Cheat Revisit the Past Expeditions by Cross Scanty. But I made a little changes on it. On this video, it will be a little different. The only difference is that you need to go offline in offline mode only when you start the new save file and after that you don't need to do anything else after that and we will be not using those files that they are they, they are here we will be using files that I put online on the Google Drive so you can download from here or just copy what you need and paste in the place of the original ones and so let me show you first like right now we are on the blight expedition and we still have four weeks remaining but i have right right new right here i have a file saved from a previous expedition but I'm still able to play it. It's not counting as expedition ended. And it will not be counted as expedition ended until end of 2029. That's because I changed the end time of the files. for until 2029 it's around seven years that you're still able to play the only downside is when you first start the save you need to go offline and after you go even if you go online it will not show you how much time you have left it will be showing you past experience previous expedition and when you come to the to the anomaly even you being online you are not able to see other people and it just says expedition mismatch but multiplayer is enabled so if I go out from the anomaly I can still see pl other players bases and everything and by the way this is a save on the expedition 5 exobiology that i'm still need to play and now let me show you what you need to do so you can play past expeditions until 2029 okay so once i have closed the game I can search for this file path and this file path will be leading me through uh where is it through this file that is only one file here called season data cache.json and the file path is C user your username app data roaming hello games there will be a lot of numbers that is probably your Steam account number so it's probably better if you don't show it to other people uh cache and inside this cache folder there will be this season data json 
season uh, as the cache JSON file. And this file can be opened with a notepad and it will be something like this. And to be able to play past expeditions, what do you need to do? You need to do one of the two things. You can even download the files that I put available on the Google Drive, or you can manually paste everything from here to the place where the original file is. And I will be showing the, the method that I, I just said now. Uh, you just need to choose what expedition you want to play from expedition one through six and the revisions to expedition one through four. You just need to choose what expedition you want. For example, I want to play the expedition one and I can even just view the file or I can choose to download it. Uh, any, it will be okay. If you download it, you download and put it in the place of the original one, or you can open it and you select everything. Make sure that it's everything is select from start to bottom. Then you just press Ctrl C and you will be open the original one that's this and you will be selecting everything from here too come on everything from start to bottom and you paste in the place of those and you will be saving it then after that you need to go through your steam account uh, your steam application and you choose to go offline and he will be asking you for to restart the steam and you choose to restart in offline mode and after it restarts at any moment now okay after it restarts, you just go and run the game again. And come on, game, load. And voila, there you are expeditions expedition available time remaining 94 months that's until the end of 2029 i think seven around seven years it's time enough to complete an expedition so no excuses <laughs> and you only need to go offline on steam on the first time when you start the expedition after you made a, a save, you can exit the game and you can go back to online mode. And that's it. That, that was kind of fast. <laughs> Faster than how I expected this, to, this video to be. But that's it. The only downside is, as I said before, as I showed before, when you go to the anomaly, you will not be able to see other players, but you'll still be able to see other players' bases. You don't need to stay offline when you are playing the expedition itself. Uh, you don't need to stay offline, and you can just play it normally. Basically. Yeah. Hmm. And if you go online, it will not show you how much time you have left. 
to play the expedition. So you need to remember which expedition is which. It's kind of complicated thing if you have too many saves of past expeditions. It will never become. Uh, it's not that it will never. It's not gonna become a complete expedition until the end of 2029. So let me just go to all the way until my ship. So I can show you that after I saved, you can go back online without any problems. And you can still play. The game without any difficulties. And right now my my ship is very far away. Hmm. It's still better than when I try to to do this video. Like this is uh, how many times do I did it? I think this is the seventh time that I'm trying to record this video because every time I showed something that I was wasn't supposed to or wasn't an intelligent thing to show but here's my ship I'm inside I'm outside I made a save then after I made the save I can go quit again it's safe, so I'm okay. Like right now, if I am still on offline mode, it will be showing how much time I have remaining for the, the expedition. But when I quit it, and if I choose to go online, uh, let me open this thing again, go online, restart and go online. So if I choose to go online again, it will not show me how much time I have left to play the expedition. That's the only downside of it. And the fact that you are not able to say which expedition it's which, which expedition is, what save is what, because how the No Man's Sky saves works. So right now I'm online, so there is the Blight Expedition available again. So if I want to start a new, another different old expedition, I need to go offline, change the JSON file, and restart the game, made it at least, made the first save until I can go back online but after I go back online I can still be playing and I will be seeing other people's bases if there is other people on the same planet I'm not a 100% sure if you can see them or not but at least on the anomaly you get that Expedition mismatch error, so you are not able to see other people. But playing like last time I was offline, so I wasn't seeing anything. Like now I'm online, I can see a lot of people's bases around here, and I can still claim the rewards for the objectives of the the expedition without any problems and the expedition itself it's, it's still going for the save until 2029 I can still complete the expedition without any worries about time 
and just to show you what I said before like if you don't know which save is which one it all be showing like previous community uh, previous expedition and it will never become a normal save because on this save it's supposed to go all the way until 2029 but you can still go and play online as you can normally do and do everything i'm not sure everything but uh, most of it so that's it so thank you for watching sorry for the long video sorry for sometimes i be without words because of my bad english but that's it hope you guys enjoy uh please enjoy playing no man's Sky. Enjoy the rewards for the expeditions, they are really awesome. And thank you Hello Games for making an awesome game, at least I like it a lot. So that's it, thank you for watching and goodbye. I, I I never used the emote before. I don't know which one is it's suitable for a goodbye. Okay, wait. So goodbye. Have a nice day and enjoy. See ya. Bye bye.